All right, let's follow up with three members of Parliament to discuss the, uh, exactly what happened in the House today and why and uh, perhaps what happens next. Kevin Lamroux is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Eric Duncan joins us tonight. He's an Ontario Conservative MP and the Question Period Coordinator for the Official Opposition. Charlie Angus is the Ethics Critic for the NDP. He joins us again tonight. We, uh, Mr. Lamroux and Mr. Angus and I talked about this uh, last night uh, before we had the big vote today and now we've had it. So, Mr. Lamroux, let me start with you. Are, are Liberals relieved or disappointed that we're not going to have a snap election? You know, at the end of the day, uh, Peter, I think that we just continued uh, moving forward from where we uh, were leaving off, and uh, I see that as a, as a positive thing. What we want is, is a parliament that's functional. Uh, it doesn't mean that everyone has to agree with what the government is doing, but uh, not only does the government have responsibility, but so do opposition parties. And we saw a majority of me members of parliament recognize how important it is uh, that we uh, focus on the, the pandemic and working together where we can. And as I say, it doesn't mean uh, that the government cannot right. be so, critiqued. So you're saying, you're saying, despite what a lot of people were saying, that uh, you're trying to engineer your own defeat so you could go to the polls when maybe the poll numbers looked favorable to you. That's not what happened. You're, you're happy this, this threat of a snap election is gone. Uh, absolutely, this has absolutely nothing uh, from my perspective and the government's perspective of us wanting to have uh, an election. We want to focus our attention solely on okay. this pandemic and working with others. All right, Mr. Duncan, Conservatives, uh, I found it interesting today, are refusing to be critical of the NDP for supporting the government today. Why is that? Because the attention needs to be on what the Liberals did by making this a confidence motion. The first time in that, you know, in well, my short time here, but as a former staffer and being an observer of the Hill, that uh, asking an opposition day motion to create a committee to study and look at an issue further would be a confidence matter. So uh, this was the prime minister's uh, direction to try to have an election, to force an election uh, and to change the narrative. And so that's where the attention needs to be. It was their call and uh, and their lack of accountability on this, plain stop. Okay, uh, Charlie Angus, uh, just finished talking to your leader, Mr. Singh, uh, and explaining uh, why New Democrats decided to vote against this motion and, and prop up the government. Uh, he says there'll still be a way to get answers uh, when you take, uh, in fact, you're probably going to lead that charge, get answers on the WE uh, controversy and other alleged uh, ethical lapses by the government. You'll be able to do that committee. Explain how that's going to happen since Liberals have been filibustering those committees. Well, I think what we saw is that Liberals have burnt a lot of goodwill. Um, they've been complaining because they've been filibustering our committees. And we reached out to them. We said, okay, let's set up a special committee. So we offered a special committee. The Conservatives offered a special committee. They threatened an election. Um, I, we are not going to plunge uh, Canada in the midst of the worst medical crisis in a century into an election uh, to save Justin Trudeau from having to answer questions. So we have a committee. It's the Ethics Committee. It's run by a, 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 an opposition chair. I go back on Monday and continue the work that we were doing. But the idea that we've been trying to reach out, we've been trying to build bridges with Liberals, well, we know that they really don't care about working with us on this. So we will do what we have to do. We will start investigations into the Frank Bayless deal, uh, David McNaughton and Palantir, who's been found guilty on, under the conflict of interest. We will continue to get our answers at ethics. So. The Prime Minister made a big threat today. I think it, a lot of people were shaking their heads and wondering what was up. Yeah. But we still have our committee work to do, right. so we'll just go back and do it. Mr. Lamoureux, are Liberals prepared to let these investigations that uh, aren't going to take place now uh, because uh, this motion was defeated, are Liberals going to let those investigations take place at the committees? I think that we've been fairly clear that we want to work with the opposition uh, parties in making sure that we have... Uh, you know, the committees that are, that are functional. Uh, let's talk about how it is that we can best deal with the pandemic as a whole, and that includes other concerns. Right, no, but if Mr. If, if, Mr. Angus, if Mr. Angus wants to reopen the investigation about we and the, 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 the cases you just mentioned, Mr. McNaughton and others, are Liberals going to let that happen, or is the filibustering going to continue? There are opportunities to discuss and ask questions.
questions and hold government accountable on a wide variety of different issues that are facing uh, Canadians today uh, with respect to the pandemic. And, and we're committed to uh, continue uh, to remain focused on that issue. And that allows for uh, committees into the future. Uh, we have confidence okay. that uh, committees uh, can, in fact, do what it is that they're supposed to be doing. All right. Mr. Duncan, I mean, uh, at one point, I'll... I'll <sighs> All parties propose some kind of a special committee to look into COVID spending. Uh, the Liberals drew the line at uh, having an opposition chair and perhaps some of the uh, terms in terms of how deeply to go into the, uh, the WE controversy. Um, what do you think's been, uh, what do you think's been lost today uh, with the defeat of this motion? Or is there a way to carry on that work, uh, you think, even with the defeat of the motion from your party today? I think what's been lost today is the Liberals' respect for Parliament. And I have to tease Kevin on that previous answer. That was filibustering an answer about their willingness to make committees work. Look at the track record in the last couple of months of the government. I, I say they're almost allergic to sunlight. They're almost allergic to Parliament in one sense. They shut Parliament down for six weeks. They filibustered for about 20 hours in committees so far. And like Charlie mentioned, there was work where, okay, what can we do? How can we get to yes? How can we get these things going? Getting a special committee so the other committees can deal with a myriad of different policy issues this fall. And it's constantly all these good words and platitudes and wanting to work together and just filibustering the clock out here. So okay. uh, I'm anxious to see what's going to be happening the next couple of months. But if the last two months have been any indication... I'm not optimistic about uh, uh, the government's uh, willingness to work with the opposition parties and actually study some of the tough issues and uh, decisions that have been made. Right. So, Mr. Angus, you don't think an opportunity was lost here? I mean, I understand the, the I understand what was at play. Uh, if you support the special committee, uh, the government declares has declared it confidence. We get an election, so maybe we don't get the special committee anyway. Um, you're so. The government is saying today, Mr. Rodriguez is still saying that he's going to be open to the the notion of setting up a special committee, but still drawing the line at having a uh, a liberal chair in in uh, charge of that committee. Is that a non-starter for you? Well, I think what was lost was a lot of the credibility and trust we built up with the government. They came to us over the issue of the special committee. They didn't like what the Conservatives had on offer. We had a fair alternative set up the way the committee structures look like with ethics. Um, Pablo's not serious about this. Uh, Mr. Lamoureux's not serious. So um, if they can set up a Liberal-run committee and they'll do what they did with SNC-Lavalin and shut it down, or they'll do what they've done on finance. I have work to do. Um, I have accountability issues that have been interfered with. We've only had two meetings uh, on a study that we agreed to, that we had a Liberal agreement on at our committee because the Prime Minister prorogued and the Liberals are sitting there like sock puppets of the Prime Minister interfering and slowing down our work. So we go back on Monday and we continue that work because accountability, getting an answer, whether or not hundreds of millions of dollars of money that's okay. needed in a pandemic is going to Liberal friends, that's an issue of accountability and we're going to stay focused on it. And mm -hmm. so if they want to filibuster, that's their choice. But they're losing goodwill and we have to stay focused Mr. on Lamaru, and Mr. Yeah, Lamaru, I mean, is your government I, prepared to set up a special committee that would sure. look into... That would look into uh, that would allow opposition members to uh, call on more documents, more witnesses to probe the WE charity controversy. You know, Peter, I don't think you would allow me enough time to be able for me to, to expand on all the points that were just finished being raised. Well, I'm just asking um, you to expand can, on the question absolutely. I asked you. You've got everything in the Sure, house and, I can, and I can tell you that, that I, I do care about the issue, and, and as the government does. And we have put... Uh, uh, and had discussions in regards, and will continue to have uh, discussions in regards to what sort of options that are there. And we haven't ruled out a special uh, committee, and I, I suspect that all parties uh, are very much aware of that. And it was also encouraging to see, um, you know, that it's not just, you know, the Liberals and the Democrats. We also saw uh, the Green members uh, recognize the importance of us uh, moving forward on, uh, on these important uh, issues from a wider spectrum. Okay, quick uh, final comment, uh, Mr. Duncan, to you and then Mr. Mr. Angus. Um, uh, where do we go from here, do you think? Uh, what, what, look, what's changed about the way you think Parliament's going to operate based on that vote today? 
we're going to be working at committees trying to bring these same issues up again. And, and I agree with what Kevin said in terms of looking ahead to get us through a second phase of COVID. And all of that it also does make sure is the decisions that the government made in the past, if they were good ones and if they were bad ones, making sure we don't repeat them again. We see the issue with Frank Ballas. We see the issue with We Charity. And we see all these different problems. We want to make sure that these problems are examined and make sure they don't happen again because as we go into the fall businesses are going to need support provinces are going to need support and we need to make sure it's done ethically there's nothing wrong with that mr angus final the 20 seconds or so here to you what do you need to see from this government to convince you that your decision today to uh to prop them up again uh, was the right one well we made a decision not to plunge Canada into an election. When the Prime Minister brags, or tells the Canadian people that he wouldn't let his children go door to door, but he was willing to force parliamentarians to go door to door to cover up the wee scandal, um, they burnt a lot of trust. We have to stay focused on people. We are in the worst medical and economic catastrophe in a century, but we have obligations at our committee, and I will continue to do my work at that committee, and I will not be interfered with by uh, the Liberal um, the Prime Minister's office and trying to monkey wrench the work of parliamentarians. We have an obligation. Okay, we'll be watching, gentlemen. Thanks for your time tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.